This RE Transition Programme is a resource for pupils. It's designed for use in conjunction with the lesson plan that you can find at the Teachers TV website. In this programme, pupils from Year 6 and Year 7 in Easington, County Durham, explore symbols in Christianity, Judaism, Hinduism and their everyday lives. There are symbols all around us, everywhere we look, even if we don't know what they all mean. Last year, these Year 6 pupils did a project on symbols and symbolism. Let's see how much they remember. Watch the programme, jot down some facts and then see if you can think up your own symbols. First of all, they discover how we remember people who are no longer around. We looked at symbols that represent people and events that are important to us. Friends and family. We've got like photos of when, like if they passed away. And like the grave, like might have a family grave and gravestones. And like anniversaries and birthdays and special occasions. Princess Diana. They have an anniversary and they have a fountain after in the park of remembrance. There's loads of photos and videos. And she's a member of the royal family, so there's loads of special occasions to remember her by. It's two minutes silence for her as well. On Remembrance Day, we have two minute silence and poppies to represent all those who have died in the war. Soldiers who died at war, we have two minute silence. On the poppy day. Family and friends, remember them. And there's uh, like memorials in every graveyard, nearly. And there's a poppy day for when like, you buy poppies and that, just to remember the soldiers who was in the war. A couple of people come round and sell poppies to you, see if you want to buy one, they're normally about a pound or 50 pence or something. And then we have two minutes silence at 11 o'clock on the memorial. And they have like poppy wreaths hung around the cross. And they have like bands marching down the street and stuff. Here's a recap of some facts about remembering people. Photographs and anniversaries help us remember friends and family. Poppies are for Remembrance Sunday. Princess Diana has a memorial garden in Hyde Park, London. How do you remember people who aren't around anymore? Next, they're learning about Christian symbols. What does this fish symbolise? In ancient times, the Christians were punished for their faith. The sight of the fish, the sign of the fish was their sacred sight of their faith. Do you know why they had, they had to have a secret symbol? Because it's thought other people wouldn't be able to like, realise what they were doing. And stuff. The fish symbol was a secret sign used by the Christians who were persecuted by the Romans. What does the dove symbolise? Do some Christians believe that like God comes down in a dove or something? something. The dove. That was... Symbol of peace. It's the air uh, symbol of Holy Spirit and it appeared when Jesus was baptized. The dove represents peace to Christians. The dove symbolizes the Holy Spirit. What does the palm cross represent? I don't really know what it means. I think it's just like playing cross. I, the story was when Jesus rode into Jerusalem on the donkey and all of the people were just like praising them with their palm leaves. This type of cross reminds Christians of Jesus' entry into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. And this cross? It's like a very sharp one. It's got spikes on the side. I think it's got something to do with like the crown of thorns that they made him wear because that was sharp and the side of it was sharp as well. They made him wear it when he was being crucified because he said he was like king of the Jews and they so they made him wear that crown. And what does that symbolise? Um, like how, how much pain and that he went through and stuff. Because like the uh, Christians, they know how much he suffered and that his, his, his life hasn't ended, he's still alive sort of thing. The cross is important to Christians because it reminds them that Jesus died on the cross. Let's recap Christian symbols. 
The fish symbol was a secret symbol used by early Christians afraid of persecutions by the Romans. The dove symbolizes the Holy Spirit. The cross reminds Christians about Jesus' sacrifice. On Palm Sunday, Christians use a cross made of palm leaves to remind them of Jesus' entry into Jerusalem. Can you think of any other Christian symbols? Our class visited a local church to look for symbols. Let's see what they can remember of their visit. Why is the church spire often pointed? There's a church with a tower and there's a circle around the tower and it represents pointing us to heaven because the um, tower is pointing upwards towards where heaven is meant to be. The spire of a church points upwards to remind us of our focus to heaven. Why are yew trees often found in graveyards? It's a yew tree and the uh, leaves never die. They're always still green. And what does that represent? That we'll always be alive, like even if we die on earth. Yew trees are often found in graveyards. They help represent the eternal life in heaven because they never die. What does communion bread and wine represent? To remind us that Jesus bled when he died for us, a cup that must have like red wine or something in to show that it was blood in the cup. The wine that represents Jesus' blood. Uh, a man breaking bread there. See, it's to remind us that Jesus' body was broken on the cross. And then that must be his uh, body and he snapped made it in half. Communion bread represents Jesus' body that Christians believe was broken for them when he died on the cross. What do candles symbolise? It's like a candle, which like it represents how Jesus is like the light of the world. Candles are a symbol to remind Christians that Jesus is the light of the world. Let's go over some of those again. Church spires remind Christians of the heaven that is above them. Yew trees are a symbol of everlasting life. Candles remind Christians that Jesus is the light of the world. What symbols can you find in other places of worship? Next, the class learnt about symbolic meals. They are focusing on the Seder plate and its significance to the Jewish Passover meal. The Passover meal helps the Jews to remember how Moses led them out of slavery. Salt water symbolises the sweat and tears from the Jews while they were in slavery. Unleavened bread is a symbol of how the Jews left Egypt in a hurry because their bread had not properly risen. Celery and parsley are both spring vegetables to remind Jews that the Passover is a spring festival. Bitter herbs are used to remind the Jews of the bitter times they had when they were slaves. The lamb bone represents the lamb that was eaten the night before Jews escaped from Egypt. A roasted egg helps remind Jews of the sacrifice in the temple. Haraset is made with apples, nuts, cinnamon and wine. It symbolises mortar which they used to build the Egyptian pyramids. The facts again. The Passover meal reminds Jews about the escape from Egypt. The food on the Seder plate reminds Jews about the different aspects of the story. For example, the unleavened bread reminds them that the Jews in the story had to leave in a hurry. Can you think of any other symbolic meals in other faiths and in everyday life? Do some foods remind you of things that you've done and places that you've been? The next religious symbols are Hindu murtis. Let's see what they can remember about the different Hindu gods and all the symbols that they carry. Hindus use murtis as a way of focusing on God. Who's Lakshmi? She's like got a money or something, and like because she's got coins flowing out of her hands, because like people who pray to her like might have like better looking money. She always wears red and gold. The red represents activity, and the gold represents prosperity. And she's got four arms, and two of them hold the lotus buds, and she's standing on a lotus flower. Who is Shiva, and what do his symbols mean? Uh, this is Shiva, the god of life and death. The snake around its neck, it represents death, but the ashes at the bottom represent death and cremation. And there, the drums is the way of uh, uh, a language is an expression. And the crescent in the background represents time. 
Well, Shiva is one of the um, gods of Hinduism. And like I said, we've got the fur dye, the cobra necklace and the tiger skin. Mm -hmm. And what, what, are those, what do all those things represent? Third eye represents wisdom, cobra necklace death. represents death, and the tiger skin represents victory over every force. Who is Ganesh, and what has he got of? You can see the trunk that um, represents intelligence and power. Um, like this axe thing there. And the ears represent wisdom. So of course you can hear to like learn things and stuff. There's a little mouse, right? Um that carries them around like the old um How depends it is on the young and the young depends on the old, like that kind of thing. So like the, the mouse, mouse has like the mouse believes in him then and he believes in the mouse. Ganesh is the Lord of Wisdom and the remover of obstacles. Those Hindu Murti facts again. Murtis are physical manifestations of Hindu gods. Lakshmi represents wealth and good fortune. Ganesh's ears symbolize his wisdom. Can you find out about any other Murtis and what other symbols they use? In the final part, our pupils design their own symbols. They made symbols for people they know, their own symbolic foods and their own Murtis. Here's a quick selection. I picked chips to remember of to remember us of this school because the tears did funny. I picked an orange to show my time here at Easton Primary School because each part of the orange showed a different time I had here. School reminds me of a bar of chocolate because first I was excited but then halfway through I got sick of it. I drew a pencil case to symbolise my time at school because we always have to have the right equipment at school and we always use pencil case and pen and pencil. I drew a smiley face to symbolise my time is in primary school because we always have fun and it was our team leader's favourite shape. I drew a pencil and a pen crossing over in the shape of a cross because it reminded me of my time in Islington Colliery Primary School. I drew a tie to remind me of my time in school because it reminded me of my head teacher, Mr Waitman. Pizza reminds me of my time at Islington Colliery Primary School because each slice reminds me of a different year. Cake reminds me of my time at Islington Colliery Primary School because um, the dinner ladies made really nice cake. It was a phoenix because, like, it was the badge of the school and it was like a new life. So like I was starting a new school, so it would remind me of the old school. I drew a symbol to remind myself as a book because like, it shows you what everything you've learned over the like the six years what you've been at the school. I would draw a pencil because it like reminds you of all the stuff you've like wrote and drew at Easton School. Mashed potato reminds me of my time at Easton College Primary School because it reminds us when my brain was all over the place. Here's an activity recap. Draw a symbol for a person you know. What food could remind you of your time at school? Draw or make a murti to represent your school. Can you design symbols for your time at primary school? Give it a go. Yeah.